Okay, hey, this is just going to be a quick video on the Orange Pi. Uh, the Orange Pi is the new tiny computer that uh, allows you to do things like stream free television, free movies on your TV set at home. So essentially what it is, it's, um, it, it's a computer itself. It is a computer. And you could hook it up to your TV, essentially making any regular television set into a smart TV. You could use things like Netflix, um, YouTube, uh, browse the internet, you could use Skype, you could, you, could, um, you could do anything that you could do with a computer only on your home TV with this. So right now what I have it plugged in with is a, is a mouse and keyboard so I can navigate through it, but uh, you could very easily hook up a Bluetooth remote to it or any type of those uh, media box controllers. It's a very compatible, very versatile and reprogrammable. Now uh, I just want to go through a couple of uh, things that I found uh, very cool about it. Um, this is the uh, Kodi, or the old name for it is XBMC, interface where you could watch and, and stream movies and TV shows. Uh, we have uh, an add-on installer, which uh, I've, I've made available here, where you could download the uh, most popular and featured uh, add-ons and, and channels for your device. Um, so essentially what, what, I've, what I've repurposed this thing for is to be able to stream television and movies. So basically I have no need for a cable box at home. Uh, I, I have access to all of the uh, television and movies I want, provided that I have the internet connected. Um, this in fact is an Orange Pi 1. There's a few different models and they all do 4K quality streaming, which is really something else uh, considering how small the device is. And uh, the cost in comparison to previous iterations, for example, the Orange sorry, the Raspberry Pi or the Banana Pi, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot more economical. However, when I first purchased it, it was a little bit tedious. It was $9.99 uh, US just for the board itself, but you had to add and add and add. You have to pay for the box, you have to pay for the power cable, the SD card, etc. And the programming, there, there was no programming to begin with, so uh, that had to be done uh, through, the, through the help of tutorials and YouTube videos and the like. So what I what uh, I have is um, essentially a media box, 4K quality streaming media box uh, for uh, less than the cost, less than half the cost of your uh, typical quad core uh, 4K media boxes. What oh, I mentioned this was quad core. Okay, so um, really quick, what uh, you could do with this. Uh, some of these plugins. Um, you may not be familiar with some of these plugins or what this program does, um, but I'll, you know what, I'll save that for another video. Um, very briefly, I'm going to go through one of the plugins, NaviX, and uh, I went to the movies and I saw this Ghostbusters and I thought it was really good, and uh, I was surprised to see that although it's still in theaters, uh, you could tune in and watch it here live. Um, Obviously, it's cam quality because, like, that's the only available versions right now. But uh, considering, like, you could not have to leave your home to watch Ghostbusters, I think that's pretty awesome. And um, so, again, I'm navigating this with my keyboard and mouse. I could be doing this with a with a remote control. And I'm gonna pause this because I really don't really need to be watching this again, not right now, anyways. And. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save like the navigation and and how to use this to uh, find your television favorite television shows for another video, but I'm just gonna briefly swing through this, just so you have a maybe a beginner's feel on on what's going on. So I'm gonna go to the video add-ons, and I can go forward with my left click and back with my right click. Click uh, one channel is uh, one of my favorite places to find movies. It's been around for a long time. It's a website has changed to um, primewire.ag, but uh, the name one channel, it's uh, still commonly used. So I'm going to look for Dark Knight. Enter. So this is a popular movie. I know this is one of those movies everyone wants to watch on a late night. Dark Knight. It's the one, first one. 
So in Dark Knight, uh, or rather in uh, one channel, you could choose the movie and then it gives you a list of sources. So you just start from the top. If it doesn't work or the quality is not that great, you go to the next one. Um, oh, failed or not found. Okay, great, great. So that one doesn't work. At least it told me, so I don't have to sit there waiting. Brisk file. And you could, you could remember the names of, of the sources to, to kind of tell you which is the better of the ones to be using. Uh, Streaming.to is one I'm familiar with, Bidzy.tv, and um, Putlocker are the most common ones, I think. So there we have it. Uh, I think this is SD quality. Yeah, this is SD quality. Um, obviously, this is going to be a little bit lighter on my data internet connection, but uh, the video quality is going to be uh, a little bit less. I could obviously find a, a better quality stream, but obviously you're, you're, it's going to take up more bandwidth. Uh, provided your internet package can support that, then uh, go for it. Stream 4K. So that's it. If you want a 4K device for super cheap, uh, check on the link below. I am actually selling them pre-programmed, and um, I have different models. So they're all 4K quad-core. Uh, some of them have more RAM than others. Um, some of them have Wi-Fi. Um, some of them have more USB ports and uh, some of them have Bluetooth built in, etc. So check out the link below and um, stay tuned for more updates and information. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.